performers, and me and Mr. Simon Sharp on the piano. Is Mr. Simon Sharp here? Yeah. 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 A very, very, very accomplished gentleman. He's accomplished as a plumber, but um, we couldn't find anybody else, so he's going to play the piano for us tonight. But if you do have anything wrong with your boy, there do see Simon afterwards, right? Um, we've got three performers on for you tonight, and two of them are currently at a train park school, and one of them uh, has graduated. So tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we have the lovely Sage Matcher. <laughs> Shelby Farmer is in the show tonight. <laughs> and Cordelia is our alumni, ladies and gentlemen. Give her a big round of applause. We're going to crack on straight away because it's Tuesday night and I know you all want to get to bed early. I don't want to miss the good life, so we'll crack on. <laughs> I'm going to tell you a little bit about our first performer before she comes on. Now, she only um, arrived in the UK last September and she went to Trupart and I believe she told me, I think, she went to Trupart the day she got here. You didn't even like go to Harrods first or anything, did you? You just went straight to Trupart. That trip up in this building are the only place she's ever seen. <laughs> never seen anything else in this country. She thinks that's all we've got. Um, uh, she is. Uh, she has been there since September. She's uh, in the second year. She joined. She's so talented. They were like, "Come in, we love you." She's actually got quite a bit of cabaret experience, which is not unusual for people from New York, which is where she's from. She's worked with the wonderful, talented Michael Feinstein, who's very well known on the New York circuit. And when she was just 10 years old, she played the role of Dorothy in The Wizard of Oz back in America. So will you please make her very welcome, ladies and gents, Sage Melcher! <laughs> And if I if he had seen anything, and he's like, hmm, 
that train park, that sounds kind of familiar. And I love my dad so much, but you have to understand, I actually live on a farm. Most people are like, oh, you're from New York, like right in Manhattan, but New York's a lot bigger than Manhattan. And um, so yeah, we live on a farm, and he kind of likes to be in his own little world. And um, so I dug through the bottom of the mailbox, um, and finally I found um, a name with a envelope with my name on it, and it said, um, congratulations, and I was so excited that I couldn't be mad at him. Oh. And, <laughs> and I thought I'd sing the song that I sang for the audition. What did he see in me? What's my attraction? Could that face make a million adore me? And make a hundred cameramen explode? Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> and I didn't, that was rhyming. I didn't have a Your eyes are 
like one modern art. I think the winter time on a cozy by the fire, but you prefer the fall. Come on, let's risk it all. Safe and sound, safe and sound. <laughs> I'd like to dedicate this next song and my body to Harry Styles. <laughs> Bothered. And, <laughs> and everybody says it doesn't 
school, like, I can't be bothered to go to Pele. And it's like, it's so dramatic. And I'm in the top, and I just love it. <laughs> and, um, yeah, taking the make and all that. It's just all new to me, and it's really cool to be in London and um, to be here at the Pheasantry. And for my last song, I thought I'd um, end with one of my favorite jazz standards, and also my Mama Sita's favorite song. Um, so I hope you like it, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the show. Sage there, proving what I think most of our classmates have feared for a long time.